Hey everyone, welcome back. It's JC King. So I'm just, you know, <clears throat> still documenting things that go on around here, bumping the night or whatever the fuck it is, okay? So I've been doing some reading about children of the night. And I had to go into the book of, um, into the Emerald Tablets. And I don't know, the Emerald Tablets, I don't, tablets, I don't know, it's kind of like, it's something I used to listen to when as I worked. But there was a portion of it that popped up about the children of the night. But I like to go ahead and evaluate what's going on here because I don't know. I, I, it feels like just being somebody that looks at things of old and new and try to combine and see what it was or why were certain groups vilified or persecuted and stuff like that. Um, just wondering if it's beneficial, like, because there was something in there that can help you. Um, I don't know, there was something in there I think that had something to do with the children of the night. And it's funny because I just asked the other day, something pointed me in the direction of the Emerald Tablet, tab, Tablers. Um, because I was concerned about that energy of these people, these feminine energies that are sending these other energies on people in their dreams or in in the night. And it kind of remind me of that energy of like, you know, somebody wanting to be with you or something and you saying in your dreams you know what i'm saying it kind of like so it's just like that like if you tell somebody that it's like those are the men that these people are trying to send into your energy field so um so yeah but i feel like the ancestors i feel like again there might have been some of that energy last night for some reason but i don't know something just happened something just like flipped like a switch and then i woke up feeling refreshed and feeling like i don't have to worry about that anymore so i don't know like i said i feel like Sometimes I feel like I, you know, I, I don't know. I, hmm, it's weird. Like, because I was, um, I ended up watching the last episode of Discovery of Witch, and it's funny, witches, and it was funny because when she was reading those books and stuff, like it was getting into her skin or going into her body, and like she was, she became the the word or whatever. So it kind of just kind of like identifies with my nature or what we've been describing, you know, on this channel or whatever. But something else was telling me that somebody else is trying to beat me to the punch. <laughs> Like there's somebody out there in my likeness that is following along with my life story, with my birthrights, with my energy. And they are, you know, taking information or going to my Akashic and, you know, finding out what my future is or even dealing with my birth chart possibly. Um, and I'm just thinking like, well, the, who the fuck am I? You know, like, I mean, I have no question about it now. You know what I'm saying? But at the, it, it, I guess I just was enlightened on things. And I guess it just make me even not even want to talk that much anymore. You know, but it upsets me because I feel like the wrong people have access to me. I would rather, you know, share these things with people that are, um, you know, experiencing the same things or with the public and things like that. But um, it kind of irritates me that these people that are obviously up against me have access to me um, for some kind of reason. So I don't understand how they can have... Um, rights to someone you know what i'm saying like i guess i'll just a have to ask the ancestors shit as it seemed like i'm asking and they giving so i'm gonna have to ask them to keep these people up out of my energy you know i used to be able to you know write names off or something like this if i feel like somebody was in my energy field but you know it feels like i gotta get you know a little bit more heightened with some shit around here okay um and to start expressing these things and speaking about these things those particular type of things uh publicly like yesterday is it's not normal for me to say something about the things that had happened and then like those uh things that I hold personal or I call personal um but I feel like it helped you know because usually I'm thinking about these things all day like how do I get this to stop or I don't want this or you know god please leave, keep this away from me or whatever you know <laughs> and it's like um like when I spoke that kind of uh thing like that something that was deep or sentimental to me um, it seems like it, it, it cleared it out, um, some kind of way. Hmm. So the, the worry of it anyway. Okay. Um, and then like, so I was just thinking, so I'm just, okay. So I'm like excited, right? Okay. Because I know that they've been messing around with my platforms and stuff in my business, my online business. And I was excited because a whole bunch of orders came in. And so I'm like, okay, let's get to it. Let me go ahead. You know, I've been stalling or whatever. And then I finally went ahead and sat down today to go ahead and do them. And I noticed, you know, I don't know if you guys, you know, any of you guys have like a cricket machine or something like this. 
So this had to be somebody that be watching me closely because they would have to know that I have a cricket machine. But then again, like I said, I've had instances in this house when, and this is what's making this crazy to me because I'm looking dead, dead ass in somebody's face right here. So this make me have to just dig a little bit more. There's something else to this shit. Like, you know, why am I hesitant to think that somebody in my house or with around my house is, you know, I just have to feel like we're dealing with different kind of energies and entities here because I went into my cricket, right? And I have about 60, possibly something like that designs saved on my cricket machine. So when I get an order, I go into my machine, I go into the file or whatever, pull the file so I can print or cut or whatever I need to put on, whatever I need to put it on. And I went in there and all of my images are gone. <laughs> and it's so funny because, like I said, another soul sibling was saying something. Um, she did a video and it really resonated with me about people stealing all your, your identity, all your information, all your business ideas, all your design. Like, she, the, as specific as it was, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking like, well, damn. You know, I, I told you guys the other day that I went and I, I, I bought all these, like, onesies or whatever. I bought, I, like, restocked, Okay. Um, and again, business had been very slow for a long time and now it's coming back in. So it's funny how now that it's coming back in, now I'm realizing that half of my inventory is missing. And then I'm also realizing that somebody has gone into now this masculine energy that's here in his right mind, he would not be able to know to go into my cricket information. So I'm just thinking, who are you taking my laptop? Cause it's funny because if we're talking about Biden, Hunter Biden's what, uh, laptop online, even though I feel like that's, can, that's talking about something else, but still, you know, it's just like I'm starting to wonder if this person works for some kind of society or some kind of something and has taken an oath. It's like what we were reading in the text the other day. And he's up against me with the rest of these people or something. And like, what bitch? Like, you know, because who does that? You know what I'm saying? Who? This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Hold on. <laughs> 